Hello everyone, welcome back to Hughes Fly Shop. Uh, today, in this tutorial, I'm going to tie a very simple wet fly for you, but also very effective. I've had a lot of success on it on my waters. The brook trout really seem to love it. Yet the red tag has been around for a long time. It's just three materials, very simple. We got red antron yarn for the tail. Peacock curl for the body and brown soft hen hackle for the collar. So we'll get this guy out of the vise, fresh hook in, and we'll get started. Okay, this is a 3906B size 10 wet fly hook, must head. And I'm going to be using Ultra Thread UTC 70 denier in black. So, first thing, we'll start our thread. I like to start mine always about an eye length behind the eye. Gives you, you don't want to ever crowd your eye, so you have room to tie your materials off and your collar and whatnot. So this wrap back, touching wraps to about there, halfway. So I'm gonna touch my tail now and wrap back. So we'll take our yarn, snip that off even. And we'll put that right there, we'll pinch loop it down, and we're going to wrap back to just about to the, right above the barb is where I want it. That would be right, put one more wrap right there. And the tail I like to have, for lengthwise, not quite as wide as the gap of the hook, so we'll snip that right about there. Now, yeah, we'll wrap and secure the rest of that yarn down. Next, I'm going to take four strands of peacock curl for our body. We're going to snip the ends off, tie those in on the side of the hook, and wrap back to just in front of your tail. Now for durability, there's two ways you can do it. You can take your peacock curl and just simply wrap it around your thread to make a noodle. But what I like to do is make a, more or less it's a dubbing loop. You just take your finger, pull up on your thread, back around, over the hook shank, wrap back onto the thread itself until you get a loop, like so. I like to make a couple laps around with the bobbin, then back up and lock it down. And there you have your loop for your peacock curl. Move your thread back to just where you, behind the eye where you start it. Take the loop, the peacock curl together. And take your hackle pliers. And we're going to spin that into a nice tight rope. But you don't want to overspin it because peacock curl is quite brittle. It could snip on, snap on you. <clears throat> Once you get that started, and if you have a rotary vise, you can use that. If not, just wrap it the usual way you wrap your body materials. So we're going to wrap this up for our body. Keep nice close wraps. Keep a little tension on your peacock rope as you go. We're going to wrap that up for the body. I'll spin that a little bit more here. Keep a nice tight noodle as you go. And we want to stop that right at that point where it's one hook eye behind the eye. So we'll take about one or two more wraps here. Just one and one more. Okay. That gives us plenty of room here to put in our hackle. So we'll go twice behind our rope and two to three in front. Wrapping back to lock it in, we'll snip off our excess. There we go. So there's our tail and our peacock body. At this point I like to tie in a half hitch, 
just for security. There we go. Next, we're going to tie in our hen hackle. Yeah, simply a soft brown, soft end hackle. <coughs> excuse me. As you can see, what I do is peel all the fuzzy fibers off the bottom, and stroke the fibers back, exposing the tip. And we're going to take that tip, and that's where we're going to tie in. So take your hackle, the tip, and we're going to tie it in just behind the eye. Two wraps snug wraps and take it fold it back two more wraps you can either grab hold of that tip snip it with your scissors or I just simply give it a little tug and it will snip right off and make one wrap hold your hackle straight up make one wrap behind then move your thread forward in front of your hackle next Grab your hackle pliers, grab the stem, and we're going to wrap our hackle for our collar. Now, what I like to do is take your two fingers and stroke those hackle fibers back, or more or less folding them back, so as you wrap your hackle, you get a nice looking collar going back. So, to stroke those back, take our first wrap. Keep them going as you go. Wrapping forward. Once again, wrapping forward. Then we're going to use all the hackles, so keep wrapping till you come to the bare stem. And that's where we'll tie off. Same as before, a couple wraps behind. A couple wraps in front. Go back to lock it in. Release your hackle pliers. Now, I'll take everything, stroke everything back, hold it there and form a nice neat little head. Yes, so, just like so, and there we go. Now, reach in with your scissors, find the hackle stem here, and snip that off. sure you're happy with it looks good okay a couple more wraps we'll bring in our whip finisher here make a four to five turn whip finish to finish off our fly There we go. It's a very simple wet fly to tie. Not very many steps at all. But it does catch fish. An oldie but a goodie. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And, uh, I'll have another one soon. And like I said, I hope you like and subscribe and leave a comment if there's patterns you want me to tie, techniques. And uh, I really want to thank you for watching. And I hope you liked the video. And we'll see you folks next time at Hughes Fly Shop. Signing off. Thanks for watching.